All right, we roll along with uh, Sports Night, and we have Steve Kennedy joining us. Steve is the co-founder for Blue Chip Athletic Solutions Company and helps colleges in the recruiting process. First of all, it's great to see you. Thanks so much for having me, guys. Appreciate yeah. it. Give us a thumbnail on, on what, when you say you help in the recruiting process, and Blue Chip sounds to have something to do with technology. Yeah. What's it all about? <laughs> I appreciate it. Well, it's kind of two angles there. We kind of help our schools out with providing some technology and some services to help two sides of the house. One is to help the coaches recruit their athletes. And then once they become a student athlete of the institution, we actually help the institution maintain the relationship with that student athlete, both from a compliance and an eligibility standpoint. Uh, we've been in business for about six years with about 55 institutions as customers. Um, most of our clients, I'd say 85% of them, are compete in the FBS uh, And level. these are some of the websites. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So. Uh, LSU obviously is a customer. As a matter of fact, Bob, we've got 10 of the 12 schools from the SEC as customers, uh, 7 from the ACC, um, 7 from the Pac-10, so some pretty big programs for sure. Well, we know how insane recruiting is. National Signing Day is like a holiday pretty much. <laughs> Talk about the window to recruit these kids and how your company aids in that process. Sure. Well, the process of recruiting a football athlete starts on September 1st of the kid's junior year and goes all the way through to the first Wednesday in February of his senior year. So it's a 75-week window in which the institutions are allowed to initiate contact with the school. So one of the first things that we actually do is that we'll help them plan what their messaging is during that 75-week period. Once we plan what that messaging is with the school, we'll jump into our marketing think tank and we'll get together with our graphic design team and we'll start converting that into campaigns in which the coaches then can use to communicate or push the message of why come play ball for me versus anybody else in the country through the channels of communication that we provide. All right, now we have something sitting out here, an iPad. Don't leave that sitting around alone because somebody around here will be talking. <laughs> I've already had a couple people ask me like, if I can leave it here. Like Nick, Bob, one of us. Uh, tell us what this is and how you use this. You, you, and the coaches can use this. Don't right? touch you, Bob. We're going to do an you actual. We're going to do an actual Hands demonstration. Sure. Tell us. We're going to wing it here just a little all right, bit. All right. Well, when we're talking about pushing the messaging to these prospective student athletes, there's new technologies that are out there referred to as channels of communication. Well, uh, Apple came out in April with something called an iPad. And we already looked at a screenshot a minute ago with LSU of lessmiles.net, which is the website that we built. Uh -huh. What we've done now with these uh, iPads is we're able to actually create a miniature version of the website in the form of a mobile app. When you create a mobile app, you then can download it to, and of course we're doing, let me click this real quick, and convert it into basically a mobile app. So for example, if a coach now wants to go into Johnny Blue Chip's home and talk about what are all the reasons to come play ball for me versus somebody else. He's he got then, that with it. Bingo. So this is a multimedia presentation tool where, for example, I'll click on football here. And one of the nice things that's a differentiator about LSU football is they've got this $15 million football operations center. It's a phenomenal facility that encompasses an indoor facility all the way from the different coaches' offices and the different team meeting rooms. So you so, can show them this? Bingo. So I'll go down, for example, to facilities and the football operations center. And Bob and everybody's probably familiar with an MTV show called MTV Cribs. So here's kind of a knockoff of it that's turned into the form of a video. What's up, guys? My name is Lyle Hitt. I shall come see my crib. I'll come in and see my weight room. Wow. We're a workout. We got the dumbbells. All right, now it's, so it's, it's essentially a virtual tour of what LSU is all about. Yeah, well, we're you know one of the things about technology that's evolved here is that you know the NCA won't let you initiate contact with a prospective student athlete until September 1st of his junior year, like we said a minute ago. So one of the things that we want to try to do is to give technology the ability to create what that experience would be like when you come to the campus, and no better way to do it than, mm -hmm. for example, an MTV style Cribs tour and then use mobile apps as a mechanism in which to push or give the people an opportunity to interact with that content. Uh, it's a very special environment to be in, and technology certainly is the enabler for sure. Steve, now we know that recruiting has got to be so big, and a lot of times we end up hearing it for the wrong reasons because of recruiting issues that have gone bad. So when you're talking about all this different technology, what are some of the things that you guys do on the compliance end to help with the coaches and the players so they don't kind of overstep their bounds? It's a great question because there's really kind of two angles to it. On the recruiting side, one of the technologies that we provide to our clients is the ability to have the contact information for Johnny Blue Chip residing on a coach's phone so that when a coach goes to initiate a phone call to Johnny Blue Chip, our technology rule its agent can kick in and say, this call is or is not permissible in this time period. So it prevents a coach from making a mistake. 
Over on the uh, student athlete side, once they become a student athlete, there's annual paperwork that the institution has to get every student athlete to fill out. You probably remember this from your days at Minnesota, where it was like a drug consent form. Where did you get your car? Things like that. Or a bicycle in, in your case. In your case. Yeah, they didn't have to worry about, about my Huffy They asked me there. a lot about where I got my drugs from. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things that uh, compliance departments uh, would, are enjoying these days is the ability to get rid of all those paper of that paperwork and make them online forms mm -hmm. so that the student athletes can fill them out and no more missed blanks or anything. I know uh, we had some news this summer passed with Reggie Bush. In Southern Cal, exactly, yeah. Exactly, yeah. So one of the things, and there was a lot of moving parts to that animal there, but one of the things that really was an indicator that made, played out in the media pretty well was that in the compliance world, uh, the paperwork that he filled out, there were some areas left blank. And as you guys know, that wound up kind of tripping up the investigation. And once that came to light, the consequence was severe. I think the money on that was uh, you lost 30 scholarships, 10 per year for the next three years. They're not bowl eligible, Bob, I think, for two years. Yeah. Guys, is that right? Right. Um, add the money up there. That is millions and millions of dollars just for missing a form, a blank on a right. form. This, obviously, this technology and technology can't change the morality of the recruiting. That's up to the, to the student athletes and the coaches and whatever happens there. But it certainly can, for the ones who want to comply, it certainly won't have to run into things like happened up at Michigan where they say we didn't keep track of things just right. 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 Things well, of that nature. Yep. This, is a, this is a fascinating thing. I have a feeling you've become a zillionaire. Well, uh, You're kind <laughs> of the Steve Gates of blue chip athletic solutions. That's technology. a great compliment. I will take it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for Steve having me. Steve Kennedy. I just thought I'd blend the Two names. Yeah, let yeah. me just, uh, I'll take See, this. No, and you, easy no, guy. no, no, Nick, put, the, put this back. <laughs> no, I just there. want to take a look at uh, yeah, a few so, things. So. Anytime people thanks, bring Steve, on high nice tech stuff, you. it's, Steve, thanks for being here. Thank Come you back so much. again soon, maybe, maybe after this recruiting's over and kind of update us on what went be on. It's an absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me, guys. All right, that's Steve Kennedy, and we'll be back in just a moment with Chuck Oliver, King of College Football. Stay with us. The offseason is never dull, and we've got the guy who can bring down the college house. Chuck Oliver is all about the pigskin on the college level, and he's next on Sports Night.